Hello guys, welcome to part 5 of Let's Play Earthworm Gym for the Sega CD, and this will also be found on Gaming1.com. We saw in the last part, we took on the most epic boss ever in Tube Race. And now we're in level 5, which is technically not level 5, but it's just called level 5 because, well, just because. Okay, I, I did not show this when I did the SNES version of Earthworm Gym, but because I didn't do it. But I am going to do it here. I don't see why not. Just watch out for those eyes. Keep finding that little door. The last door has the hardest part because that's the big eyes. Try not to go too fast, otherwise you just walk into the eyes by mistake. And you'll take damage. Just take your time. There's no need to be a hero. Uh, I don't really need that one up, so I'm gonna ignore it. Oh, there's the eggs already. Is this the part I'm thinking of? No, not necessarily. Not there yet. Ah, damn it. Oh, perfect. Oh, yes, when I see that big hill, that's pretty much the part I'm thinking of. A little safe here just in case I fuck up. Basically, you gotta get up that hill so you can jump over it and run for your life! Just run, don't stop. And that is how you get past that part. Well, you'd better step up the difficulty setting if you want to see the real end. In the meantime, though, what? Uh, now for the next part of level five. What a worm! Playing on practice, eh? Well, you'd better step up the difficulty setting if you want to see the real end. In the meantime, though, what? A worm! Okay, is this the part where I'm gonna have to fight uh, Professor Monkey for a head? I think it is. I'm not sure. Worms are so different from one another that you all together a single group. They place them oh, in different tribes. I'm like the tribe of this worm and the tribe the of that worm. In everyday language, the name worm may be loosely applied to other animals, like dogs, cats, ferrets. Oh good, I made it before my body did. Uh, Geronimo! Chainsaw, blah blah blah. This is going what do they look like? All worms Oops. look just like elephants. With two ears and a long tail. Most of them have complex uh, it's some energy air, of course. Across their back. Well, I think that should be good. Now let's get to the end of this lesson. Uh oh. They smell pretty bad inside them. Probiscus worms. They can't attack in nude form. Segmented worms are the most advanced because they have a true poly then. And well developed digestive, respiratory, circulatory, nervous system, brain, and teleportation. Some worms reproduce sexually. Permaphrodic is the condition in which a single individual possesses both male and female reproductive. They don't always do the boss fights, well, mini boss fights, mini boss fights. Segmented worms, which make up the phylum, animals have elongated bodies that are round or flat and divided into segments by transverse rings. Some are free swimming and some are active. Perfect. 
Tobacco, to say Techno Doodle, has that project from the bottom of their bodies. The oh, members yes. of the primarily burrowing scavengers. Uh, you know, this little dialogue is getting very annoying, especially since I'm not even on practice mode. Like, this is a clear lie. God damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Oh good, more energy. This worm and the tribe of that worm. In everyday language, the name worm may be used to apply. I'm better off just sh like shooting. Cats. Actually, you're better off whipping. Shooting only if you see an enemy in this deal. Uh, Lincoln Food Chain, Sound, blah blah blah. Uh, this is going to be. This is the last card before I get to the boss. I don't know. All worms. No, I just grabbed some random energy. I didn't even know it was there. Hey, good enough for me. Have complex, uh, hair patterns across their back. The suit, uh, let's see how much closer I gotta go. I hate those things. They leave me wide open. Some worms reproduce sexually. Oh good. I can keep doing this until there's an enemy coming out. Now I can no longer get any weapon energy. Segmented worms, which make up the phylum animals, have elongated bodies that are round or flat. Okay, I must be close to the end right now. I got to the continue point. Oh, boss time. I just keep doing this. Oh, perfect. Now for the second phase. Which actually has its own music. And I don't think that's the music it should have. It has the first part of Buttville music. Why? I don't know. You tell me. Chicken! Oh, come on. Got him! I think one more of those eggs would have killed me. So, good thing I won. Because I didn't want to do that part over. Glad I'm going to have to do this over. Andy Asteroids. <sighs> okay, once I get that done, then I'm going to stop the video and I can start for Pete's sake. That is, if I win. Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, great. Great, I'm losing. We're off to a bad start. Come on, I oh my god! Why well, can those bubbles give me a little bit of a speed burst? Like, get a bubble burst, huh? Eh? I'm gonna shut up now. Okay, that's what I needed. Just a little bit of momentum. Just sneak up from behind and get him. Oh, I cheated death there. I don't know if I cheated death, but I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna die next time I got hit. Oh, come on! I missed it! I feel like I have one shield left if we get in a bad spot. Oh, we are still one! How about that? A Christmas miracle! Ah, grubby! Now I can do it for Pete's sake. But that's gonna have to wait for another video since I'm out of time. So stay tuned for the next part when I whip a dog. Home, that is. Goodbye, everybody.